Hey guys, so today I'm here to bring you some more Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay and commentary and today's video will be on Port Valdez and the reason why I'm making this video is because I and I have a feeling a lot of other people have a really hard time uh, being on offense for the first and second base because they're, there's just that gigantic choke point. Uh, really the entire map is a choke point but uh, I definitely notice it for the first and second base and of course I hopefully you guys notice the choke point. I think I just said choke point like 40,000 times, but apparently it is it is needed. But uh, yeah, I wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys some helpful tricks and tips on how to avoid uh, or get around this choke point and get to the bomb or the MCOM station and get the victory. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now the first thing that I like to do and what I find a lot of people don't do is to take it really slow. Uh, I find a lot of people rush in to towards the MCOM stations and get themselves killed really quickly and really it just becomes a constant stream of single people or two people coming in and then getting killed and then ha being ha being ugh, and then having to uh, respawn and really just not being productive at all and so really what you want to do is take it slow allow your allies to work their way up to you and just really try to slowly move the the front lines closer and closer to your enemy spawn point and uh, just do it that way and I actually was a little too slow here and my uh, allies just took out the the A point and just by destroying the building and really I think that is probably the easiest way to get the A point because it is such a small building and of course uh, when you take out a building uh, it re all you have to do is well sorry when you take out the building you get the MCOM station so and it's since it's so small it's just really easy to see for uh, so this next clip is uh, same place. I'm going to be moving on the right side, and I definitely would recommend the right side just because uh, I think the left side is way too open. And it's just really hard to actually manage. And what I try to do here is usually with my friends, I try to get into the back right building that you'll see here in a moment. And what I like about this building so much is the fact that it has excellent line of sight on the A point and on the back end of the enemy spawn point, which is behind the gigantic construction building. Uh, really, like I said, it has great line of sight on this point, and as you can see here, I can pick people off. Going for the flag, defending the flag, or not flag, MCOM station. And it just becomes a great place to pick people off. Um, you do have to watch out for a couple of things. Uh, first off, you have to watch out for your your uh, your Carl Juniors, your RPGs, and your 40 millimeter. But as long as you're trying to stay away from the windows as often as possible, at least when you're not trying to actually shoot at your enemy, it becomes pretty easy to manage. And every time I'm actually reloading, I'm trying. I actually go reload in a a spot that is not toward the line of sight of the window where everyone's shooting at. Because as you're going to see here in a second, there's going to be a, a nice little RPG flying through the window. And because I was in this room it doesn't kill me and it actually kills my teammate here who just gets blown through the wall so like I said just try to stay away from the window when you can um, yeah and you're gonna be a lot more successful uh, another thing is when you're actually shooting at someone and you see that he is an engineer or even or an assault class uh, and you see him pull out his noob tube just try to get away from the window uh, here's a good demonstration I see this guy has a Carl Jr and I see it and I run away and I'm able to pick him off uh, it's not foolproof I die a lot even when that happens because uh, those weapons are just so powerful when someone's in a building. But it definitely increases my life expectancy by a lot, so just try to keep doing that. So my team just took the, both the A and B uh, MCOM stations, so we're going to try making our way towards the the second base. And what I recommend for the second base, because it is it does have that gigantic choke point, I recommend trying to once you've taken the two MCOM stations is to quickly rush over there as quickly as possible to try and catch your enemy off guard. Uh, once your enemy actually gets in place because they have that that hill on the right where they can just kind of chill out and throw a lot of grenades which you're going to see here in a second and they have those rocks that also provide a lot of cover for them it becomes really difficult to actually uh, get past that choke point when they are set up so if you can try to get you and your allies to push up as quickly as possible and hopefully I actually start running up here in a second. Um, yeah, once you get up there, just try to make that push. Uh, because this level is pretty ridiculous, especially for the, uh, the choke points. I'm really surprised that they, uh, they made these choke points because they are so severe. You're all funneled into one area. And if you're not using tanks or you're not rushing, it becomes... It, it, it really sucks and it gets really frustrating. 
Um, another tactic that I find to be pretty successful when you actually do get bogged down at this point is to pull out that, that smoke grenade instead of the 40mm grenade launcher uh, when you are playing the assault class and I really find this to actually be very successful when you are getting bogged down because you're able to push past the choke point and get through that funnel place um, and just get to the MCOM stations. Um, I find a lot of people that like to be like Rambo and and actually don't use the smoke grenade because, I don't know, it doesn't get kills very often. Um, but you have to remember that Rambo doesn't die, and I know you guys like to be Rambo. But when you're using that 40mm grenade launcher and you're getting bogged down at that, at that uh, choke point, you're probably not going to be living very long, and you're probably going to be dying a lot. And so I guess since you're dying a lot, that means you are no longer Rambo. <laughs> but really, just, just try to use the smoke grenade as often as possible and in the appropriate places. And I can guarantee that it's going to really help your gameplay and help help your team out and get to the MCOM stations um, and just make the game more enjoyable for everyone. But this about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. But uh, yeah guys, if you would like to see more videos from me, just subscribe to my channel. But other than that, have a good one and take it easy.